Jay Butler, I think you won me over. What's going on, familia? Welcome back to the channel. And if it's the first time here, my name is Ivan Martinez, otherwise known as Mr. Martinez. On this channel, we talk about men's style, men's lifestyle, everything in between, including reviews. So if you're into all that stuff, go ahead and hit the subscribe button down below. In this video, we're going to be reviewing the Jay Butler Millibank Bit Loafer. That was off the tongue. Uh, we're also going to be discussing the brand's background. We're also going to discuss the characteristics. We're going to discuss the fit. And we're also going to cover my likes and dislikes. So let's go ahead and dive in. I do want to thank Jay Butler for sending me over these loafers. However, they didn't pay me to do this review and they're not dictating anything that I say on this video. So this is just my straight up honest opinion. So Jay Butler was a brand that was founded by a guy named Justin Jeffers and I actually had the pleasure of meeting him a while back at a Manfluential. So Justin's idea essentially came from visiting uh, London. He went out to Seville Row, was hanging out with some tailors and he really liked the idea of loafers so when he actually came back to the states in 2014 he founded jay butler so looking into the characteristics one of the biggest things that i will say is really nice about this loafer is the fact that the top part doesn't come up as far as you would see on other loafers this is the aesthetic that i usually see with like gucci loafers and i want to say that this is probably a really close like comparison to gucci loafers so if you just want to pull off something that looks really really like Gu gucci loafers at a very affordable price these are at like 200 bucks also one of the biggest characteristics is going to be the gold bit in the front it doesn't have to be gold i got these in gold but you could definitely do a different uh metal i think they have silver so you can have one or the other i really like the gold um with the look of this brown there's like a chocolate brown and that's also something that i really like about it so you it's like one of those darker browns but it looks really great just you know wear them with basically on the color these overs also come in a bunch of different colors as well they come with your black they come in dark brown that's what you're seeing now they come with a caramel full grain those are actually something i'm actually looking at uh, they have dark brown suede navy they have your perforated dark brown which are actually looking really good too they got red suede and they also have all of green suede so those are just a few more options that you can find in this loafer other characteristics this is a full grain leather shoe as well it has a durable full leather sole this is blade stitch which is something that's very nice to have on a loafer and something that's gonna last you a pretty long time it has a genuine moccasin construction it is fully leather lined and it is padded on the insole and that's why <laughs> it is so comfortable so moving into my likes and dislikes uh, of course i've already mentioned some of my likes is and it's especially the insole it is very cushiony super comfortable you basically just take it out of the box you can wear them that's exactly what i did i've been wearing these so much guys like if you follow me on instagram i've been wearing these a lot especially because spring is already around and i can finally wear loafers another one of my likes i like that it's a little bit different and it has a genuine moccasin design that's something that i haven't had in my wardrobe so something different but this front part again doesn't come that far up my foot so it's just something that i really like and again makes it a little bit more unique one thing that i will say and i guess it could be like a downside to it sometimes when i wear like no show socks you can see the no show sock especially if you have those ones that like come up pretty good on your foot you're gonna see a little bit of that so sometimes you do have to like push the sock forward in order for it not to be so apparent that you're you know they're meant to be no show socks but you can see them with these shoes i guess this next dislike is more for like shorter guys but it doesn't have a very tall heel so you're not going to gain any height by wearing these um, you're getting just a little bit um, but it's just one of those things that you're not it, this isn't going to help you look a little bit taller uh, so that's just something to keep in mind another huge thing that i like about these shoes is that they're under 200 dollars these are definitely like the quality and like the leather and everything these are definitely worth more than like 250 dollars i could say that right now um and i'm sure that there's shoes that are like not as good at these that they're selling them at a way more expensive price 
So that's something that I really like about these. Hold up, before getting into the fit of these Jay Butler loafers, if you're liking this video, go ahead and give me one of these down below. Definitely helps support La Familia. Now, I decided to put fit and sizing into my reviews now because every time I put out a video as far as like reviews for shoes, some people ask me for the fit. And sometimes I always have to refer them to the website. And when it comes to questions like that, I actually do kind of refer them more to a website or just maybe customer service or something. Now, Jay Butler does use US sizing and their loafers basically go off of like more of US size dress shoes as opposed to like sneakers. So they do tend to run a half size larger. So let's say you're like a 10 and a half sneaker you're most likely going to be like a 10 in a J Butler loafer. And those with wider feet like E or double E, uh, you should definitely consider just going a half size up. That's what they usually recommend. Another information you can definitely find on the website, which I'll have linked down below. As far as how to wear these, I wear this with just about everything. I wear this with my suits, I wear it with my denim, I wear it with chinos, no matter what. These look great. This is a great shoe just to like go like round town or maybe just like run some errands whatever just throw these on and you're good to go all right guys so that was my review on these jay butler millbank bit loafers i gotta admit that again I i'm just gonna keep praising these shoes because they look great uh, but what do you guys think about them let me know down below do you guys own any of these or did you even know jay butler existed don't forget to subscribe to the channel next week's video i'm not really sure the topic that we're gonna go over i was thinking about doing something more lifestyle-ish um, but we'll we'll see and it'll be kind of a surprise for next week so definitely stay tuned i appreciate you guys this time and as always style up yeah this is amy thanks so much for watching this video if you haven't joined la familia yet go ahead and hit the button up there and i have another recommended video for you right over there and as always, style up.